What is going on guys? Wise here coming to you with a recap of one of the last wars for 2.0. This was a random week matchup against Kronos, the fine ladies and gentlemen over at that wonderful, wonderful clan. Uh, these guys are good. Uh, it was a pleasure to do a midweek matchup and on top of it was pretty even. Uh, I, I'll go through the breakdown here in one sec. 110-109 was the war uh, victory to 2.0. But Kronos really deserves a lot of credit in this war. They absolutely came out swinging. Uh, their town hall lines were on fire. They cleared the board, no problem. Had a lot of uh, 10 versus 10 triples. But of course, state of the game is uh, its kind of tough at that point. However, the end of this war, the update did drop. As you're going to see, um, do, 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 we did lose. Where did they all go? Basically, all the town hall line replays are gone. As you can see, all the way down. We did have to use Handful of Bullies. Our nines have been kind of off over the last couple weeks. Have not been able to pull it together as a unit and get those nines cleared by nines. Uh, we are using early nine versus ten scouts, so we do leave ourselves with less Town Hall nine attacks on purpose. It's kind of counterintuitive, um, but not really at the same time, because an a, a anti-three-star Town Hall ten is reasonably easy for a Town Hall nine to get a two-star on. And then obviously uh, Town Hall 10 bowling and Town Hall 9 is super easy to get a 3-star on. So, it, you know, it's a decision you make in the war. It is definitely a strategy that we use. Definitely send up uh, at least a few of our 9s to secure some of those 2-stars on. Mainly those higher uh, Town Hall 10s that maybe the Town Halls are easier to get at or whatnot. Uh, but like I said, hats off to Kronos. Fantastic war. A fantastic finish to the war overall. We're just going to go into these war events and check the last, oh, I don't know, last minute. Look at this. <laughs> in fact, these three guys for Kronos, uh, I believe it was right after, it, it was right when Boz went live. I know QC had just secured that triple, and then all basically all of these attacks went in at all of the same time. So it was just nuts. We had people watching all the different attacks because really Kronos got these two three stars. If this uh, number six, Bullying Dennis, would have tied things up, that 90% destruction would have went up, who knows? And then again, that one. So if they had nailed all four, it was game over for us, right? So they did fail a couple um, to our benefit, and we did come up with a victory. But Kronos, fantastic war, fantastic finish. These are, these are what the fair play community just lives for. So let's jump on in and check out some of the content. Like I had said, if you take a look, replay not available. There's, in fact, this will tell us tell you guys how many bullies we had because all the replays that are available are bullies. So there's one, and two, and three, and I think there's one more up top here. Yeah, number, and four right there. So four bullies, so that sucks for us. In fact, did we bully this one right off the bat? Oh, it's Town Hall 10. Okay, good. Uh, so I don't have a ton of content. Unfortunately, I did lose this uh, 10 versus 10 triple by Alpha. So shout out to him. He was uh, That was the only 10 versus 10 triple for our side. I believe they had one as well. Um, Dirty had a couple nice bullies. Our 11s really came through and sealed the deal here for us, though. If you see all of our 11s, look, Team Unique, Kane got a couple, BP's on there, QC, D, uh, DI got a couple. So it really ended up uh, being the story for the war here, as well as our Town Hall 10s kind of finally securing the... Uh, the two stars there real quickly okay yeah this base number four gave us a hell of a lot that's why we ended up having to use map to step in finally get that two star there five defends on that base so i mean a quick scout view don't want to reveal the guy's traps uh but pretty standard right i mean one thing we're finding is those internet box bases are super easy to, to work with now so you, when you're building your town hall 11 bases it's almost like a hybrid of a box base um while using some anti three star principles in it and you, you can find a lot of success a lot of it's just sort of the the way the chips fall but is what it is uh let's just jump in i want to check out we're going to see one of these 10 versus 11s dennis here snaking us a 64 percent on their number two this is a really nice hit overall he's just going to go ahead and use seven baby dragons essentially and a bunch of archers he recognizes all this nice little free percentage around the outside some cat and I talked about way back in our base building videos. You got to think about what the type of war that your base is going to be in and what kind of things you need to be defending against. As a Town Hall 11, do you really need to worry about defending against a three-star? Well, well, 
uh, as of the state of the game was at this point? No, but maybe we're going to have to be evolving into that because 10 versus 10 uh, with this new Loon AI, I see big things happening. Town Hall 9 is in trouble, but we knew that was going to happen. Eventually, Town Hall 9 is going to slowly continue to get pushed behind, uh, and it's going to evolve into the 11 and 10 game. Um, anyhow, point of me bringing this up is for this guy. Real quick, going to pause. Why give him basically six, seven free percentage points on the outside there? Um, having none of those buildings, especially the low hit point buildings, like six archers basically cleared that whole side, got him 6%. Six troop space for 6% against the max town hall 11 is a huge trade, huge trade. So I'm not 100%. I'm sure I know for myself, uh, when I as I'm moving into town hall 10, I'm really going to make those percentage points difficult to get because guys like Dennis are going to just jump in, abuse the crap out of it. A couple more baby drags going down, just getting a few more buildings on the outside before this eagle cannon gets activated there. That's the idea too, right? When you're 10 versus 11, just remember how much troop space you have before that eagle can is going to start blasting at your baby D's, getting the percentage points. So in go the hogs. thought that was sort of an interesting choice. I think he did that just specifically to take care of that bomb tower. Um, reason being, he's about to send 11 bowlers into this compartment. He doesn't want any bombs messing things up. Nice two giants go in ahead of time. <clears throat> Eagle Cannon locks onto the Baby D, which is good. We're going to go ahead and let those bowlers in behind. Sort of in between Eagle shots. Really all about timing with this Town Hall uh, 10 versus 11 business. Raid spell is now down. King is in there. Bowler's getting in there. We're just going to smash right on through. We're already at 48, 49%, 52%. So really, it's just a matter of getting that Town Hall. And the Queen is in there with that ability still intact. So she's going to be able to step up here, hit that ability. Down goes the Expo. Down goes the Town Hall. We're at 61%. Things are looking good. 62. There we go. I think I said 64 to start, but it was a 62. But still, really nice hit. Oh, it's Archer. No, maybe not. Eagle's about to blast it. No. No. Ah. <laughs> Very nice, Dennis. Good job, buddy. Been rock solid against those 11s for us. Uh, so really nice job. Other than that base five, our tens uh, got those twos reasonably easily on uh, on all of their 11s. Like I said, except for that one right there, gave us uh, I think a uh, little bit of struggles, but Maverick ended up coming to save the day. We did have a fair amount of dip fails as well. You know, BP had a tough one, 64%. Boss 78%. Mav again, 61. So, I mean, these are all our uh, good 11s hitting these 10s, and uh, they defended very well against those. But then finally, we kind of broke through. TU gets one here. Uh, Kaner gets a couple. Uh, was going to show a couple of these. I don't want to show too many out of uh, the great respect we have for the Kronos clan. But uh, fortunately, we didn't lose all the replays. So <laughs> I don't have a lot to show you guys. So I got to fill it in here somewhere. Uh, so standard sort of bitch attack. Um, the bitch attack uh, using the bowlers and the witches equals bitch. Uh, if you guys couldn't figure that one out, uh, pretty much every successful bully we had was a bitch attack. And these are all post-update. So that's something to tell you guys of what uh, is still successful versus um, what might not be successful now that the updates drop. Town Hall 11 did get a lot stronger. And I really believe the dragon and the loon AI changes are going to make big, big uh, worlds of difference. For Town Hall 10, we haven't quite been able to experiment enough yet to confirm that. But definitely the way Town Hall 9 is, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm watching attacks where guys are just spamming 30 balloons at a Town Hall 9 and coming away with it. Uh, they just attack. You know, when they get to a building, they drop their bombs instantly. And it's super important because how many times have you lost balloons when they're hovering over a building and they just can't get that bomb off, that one drop, but... Uh, I guess we'll see, right? And I've talked about this. Um, you know, this is the change I was hoping to see. I was hoping to see a little more action for Town Hall 10, but I think they're just being very cautious because of what happened when they changed the Valk AI, just like they did the balloons and the dragons. When they changed the Valk AI, I don't know if you remember this, six, eight months ago at least, um, Valks were ridiculous. They basically, he could spam 20 Valks with four heals at a base at Town Hall 9, and you were going to get it. Um, 
So that was kind of interesting. And then they ended up toning them back, just scaling them back just a touch. And I think that was necessary. But again, they're just being cautious. They're they're making sure that these changes don't make the game just retarded. Um, but I think this is a huge step in the right direction. And uh, I'm really, really looking forward to seeing what the competitive war scene has to bring over the next little while will be really nice to start seeing uh, 10 versus 10 triples be a lot more predominant. Uh, but at the same token, uh, really still having a plan. I mean, especially air attacks, you do need to plan. You need to plan your path and you need to know what your balloons are going to um, walk into here. And uh, it, it's, it's not just, you know, a town on nine, obviously if you're just Asian walling 30 balloons. That's not a lot of planning involved, but you can't really do that at town all 10. It's going to take, take some breakdown of the base. And I'm just looking forward to seeing what this, um, uh, update has to bring us here. So this last one I'm going to show Adam Duda Day, RIP. He's been in my videos before. He's been in uh, 2.0 a couple times before. He recently reached out to me not too long ago and asked if he could come back to 2.0. Um, left on good terms. I didn't, we had no problems at all um, with bringing him back, giving him a shot. He said he really wanted to, to give it a go. Uh, did a couple wars in Swarm and then I don't know what happened. All of a sudden, uh, he was in a war and dropped one barb and rage quit or just quit, whatever you want to call it. So that sucks and was unfortunate and just quit the clan out of nowhere. So I don't know what his problem was, uh, but unfortunately, <laughs> heads over to Kronos and now gets his base beat up by Dirty Italian. Um, I do want to say, Adam had failed an attack and in good spirit. Obviously, we don't care, Adam. Whatever you want to do, buddy, no big deal to us. Uh, we thought it was kind of funny when you had failed an attack and we put in our clan description, uh, you should have just dropped one barb and quit. But I think we offended some of Kronos because they probably didn't really know what that meant. Uh, we were not insinuating anything. It was just a shot at uh, at Adam Dota Day. Uh, but best of luck, man. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully you found your home with Kronos. <clears throat> but DI, as the boss he is, bringing this Lalo and just smashes it, absolutely crushes it. Really, there's only the Inferno Tower, a couple backside Archer Towers he's got to worry about now. Hay spells down, so many balloons to go. Down goes that cannon, all the defenses are down. Clean up time, he's got Archers, Minis, Pops all over the base. Bam, bam, bam. There goes that haste, doesn't need it. Nice job, DI. All right, guys, so not a lot. Um, to show you, but I do have high hopes over the next couple weeks about this update, and I'm really going to keep a close eye for you guys on what I see and try and project that and and, and communicate that with uh, with the channel here about uh, exactly what does this update mean for Clash of Clans because it is a big one. I'm telling you, from what I've seen so far, the game is is changed. It's it's taken that next step it needed to. It did knock Town Hall Nine down a little bit. And it's unfortunate because that's, you guys know, you know me, I've been in Town Hall 9 pretty much my whole career with one eye and, you know, I love it, but it's time, right? I, I watched the Town Hall 10 and the amount of work those guys have put in, uh, not only to, you know, just planning their attacks, but just building their bases and just the lack of fun at that level. You know, it's not fun if you're not coming away with uh, an occasional triple at least, um, uh, so uh, we will see, and I'm going to do my best to bring that to the channel and show you guys what's different, what's not different, and uh, maybe just do an overall update video. Uh, do have our CWL Week 5 match coming up as well, and I believe there's a couple couple week break for CWL, but anyhow, guys, Kronos, thank you. Uh, fantastic war, fantastic finish. Just crazy, like 10 attacks in the last minute of the war. That's always interesting, but uh, that'll do it here for your wisdom from Wiser to try to help you back that next tree start. Till then, I'm out.